Hello, P4 students. Welcome again to this another video of our Math for Lessons. This is Miss Claire and welcome to Chapter 10. In this video, you will learn patterns and sequences with numbers and objects. You will learn two topics. We have make number sequences with term-to-term -term rules and make special patterns of square numbers. Are you familiar with this topic, children? If not, stay tuned so you will learn more about these topics. Okay, come on, let's start. I have here a picture. Take a look. Look at the two children in front. They have some brick patterns, right? The girl said that their brick patterns are the same because the first two are the same. Take a look. The boy said that they look the same, but they also look different. What have you noticed? Are both the girl and boy correct on their statements? So if you agree with them, please explain that during our class, okay? Now let's start with the first lesson. We have make number sequences with term-to-term -term rules. So what it means by rule? Rule means is order or law, something like that. Okay, look at the picture of the girl. What do you think the fifth term will look like? So what is the term-to-term -term rule? Okay, let's say the first term or the first number, as you can see, there is only one brick, right? On the second term, it becomes three bricks. So how many bricks we add? Yes, we add two bricks. Then on the next, the third term, how many bricks now? There are five. So how many bricks did we add? So if we will continue, so what do you think? What do you think the fifth term will look like? How many bricks will be in the fifth term? Now take a look in our thinking cap. Kaz tries to form rough sequence on the previous page. So this is Kaz, the girl. She thinks that she needs to add one more brick to her third term. This one, the third term here. She needs to add. So the term to term rule is to add one to her term to term rule above. Do you think that's correct? So we will discuss more about this lesson as we go on this video. So stay tuned before. Okay, let's study about linear sequence. Eddie writes a linear sequence is starting from 12. The difference between the terms in such a sequence is constant each time. It means to say that if we subtract from one number to the next number, it will always go the same for the rest of the numbers. So the term to term rule is to subtract 5 from the term before its time. So what are the fourth and fifth terms? Take a look. The first term is 12. We will subtract 5 if it will become 7. Then 7 minus 5 is 2. So if our term to term rule is to always subtract, what will happen? So 2 minus 5, do you remember this one? If we subtract, the answer now becomes negative 3, right? Then, in the number line, if we subtract 2 minus 5, that is negative 3. If you could remember, our number line on the left side of the 0 are negative numbers, right? Now, if you have negative 3 in the fourth term, so we will subtract negative 3 minus 5. It becomes correct, negative 8. So, our... Fourth and fifth terms are negative 3 and negative 8. So if this pattern or our rule continues, which is we will always subtract 5 from the each term, can you guess what the tenth term is? So if you know the answer, children, please share your answer during our class. Oh, we have the answer here. So if we use fifth term for each term, we subtract 5. So we subtract 25 to get the 10th term. So we have negative 8 minus negative 25. 
So the answer is negative 33. So the 10th term children is negative 33. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now let's study about nonlinear sequence. Eddie writes a nonlinear sequence. The difference between the terms in such a sequence is not constant each time. So what do we mean by nonlinear sequence? Take a look. The first term is 1. We multiply it by 2, it becomes 2. So what is the difference between 1 and 2? The difference is 1, right? 2 minus 1 is 1. So the difference between them is 1. But take a look. In the third term, we multiply 2 by 2, it becomes 4. If, if you can see, 4 minus 2, the difference is 2, not 1. So the difference between this is 1. The difference here is 2. It means to say that terms are not the same from first term to second term to third term. Now, if we multiply the fourth uh, the third term, which is 4, by 2, we will get 8. And if we multiply the fourth term, which is 8 by 2, it becomes 16. So if you can see the difference from third term to fourth term, 4 and 8 is, what the difference? 4. 8 and 16, the difference is 8. So as you can see, they have not the same difference from the first term until you reach fifth term. So what is our term to term rule here? When we compare from linear sequence earlier, our term to term rule is we always subtract 5. But at this time, our term to term rule is simply multiply each term by 2. Since we will multiply it by 2, what could be the sixth and seven terms. Okay, how are we going to do that? Yes, from fifth term, you multiply 16 by 2. What is that? 16 times 2, 32. Then seventh term, the 32 multiplied by 2 again. So what is 32 times 2? We will double 32, and that is 64. So see, we're correct, right? The sixth term is 32 because we will multiply by 2. This is 16 multiplied by 2 is 32. Then, seventh term, 32 times 2 is 64. How about the tenth term, children? Can you find? Okay, try to figure out what is the tenth term and share your answer during our class. Okay, let's study lesson B. Make special patterns of square numbers. Take a look. Look at Ralph. He builds bricks as shown here. Let's make a sequence by coloring the bricks. Let's make a guess about how the next term will look like. Take a look. The bricks look like stairs that go up and down, right? We have one here. It becomes four here. How about the yellow? How many bricks? And the red one. Okay, children, try to figure out what happened to this pattern and you can share your answer during our class, okay? Okay, now, is the sequence linear or nonlinear? What do you think? And what do you think also the term-to-term -term rule? And can you classify the sequence and apply and explain it? Okay, what do you think? Is it linear or nonlinear? Remember, linear, they have the same difference from one term to the next term. Nonlinear, they have different different they have different they have difference in the first term to the next term. So they are not equal. Okay. I see. So we will, now we will study about square numbers. What are square numbers? Take a look. I see plant, plant some flowers in a square patterns as shown. How do we find the fifth term? Look at the first term. How many flowers? Yes, we have one, right? One pot. The second term, it becomes four. So we add the three, right? One plus three is four. And on the third term, it becomes 9. So 4 plus 5. On the fourth term, it becomes, correct, 16. We add 
How many? Seven. So how about the fifth term? How are we going to get the fifth term, children? Do you know the answer? Okay, let's discuss. So, look at the first term. It becomes, it is, it is one and the fourth, and the second term is four, then the third term is nine, and the fourth term is 16. So, how are we going to get the fifth term? So, the term to term rule here is three more, five more, seven more. Therefore, what could be the term or the rule in the fourth term? Each time the number to add increases by 2, right? 3, it becomes 5, means we add by 2. 5 to 7, we add by 2. 7, we add by 2. And that is 9. Therefore, we always increase or we always add on our number here, our term to term rule. So, it becomes 9. It means set 9 more. So, 16 plus 9. This is, this is 9 here. 9 more. Therefore, 16 plus 9 is equal to 25. Therefore, our fifth term is 25. Now, what do you notice between the term number and its term? Do you think if there is another way to solve this one instead of using this? Instead of using this rule, children? If there is another way for this, take a look. We can also find the fifth term of IC sequence using square numbers. What is a square number? A square number is, is the number when we multiply a number by itself. Example, the first term is 1, we multiply it by itself. So 1 times 1, we get 1. Then the next term is 2. We multiply 2 times 2, we get 4. So 1, 4, they are square number. The third term, we will multiply 3 by itself, and that is 9. Then we have the fourth term, multiply 4 by 4, it becomes 16. So to get the fifth term means 5 times 5 equals 25. So what is the sixth term then? Yes, 6 times 6 equals 36. The seventh term. If we will continue, 7 times 7 is 49. So children, 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25 are what we call square numbers. Square numbers are number we get if we multiply a number by itself. Another example is 8 times 8, which is 64. 64 is a square number. So, P4, that's all about square patterns. Okay? So, thank you for watching, P4. I hope that you learned a lot about patterns and sequences. I will discuss more about this lesson during our class. Always remember, children, to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and enjoy the rest of the day.